Assalamualaikum and hello to all my lovely students. I hope you all are in a good of health and please take care of yourself during this current pandemic. Okay, so I hope you all take care of yourself and please stay at home. Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to look on unit 7, get dressed. You can refer to your supervised workbook on page 88, 89, and 90. Okay, let's start our lesson for today. Number one, read the poem and color the picture. Okay, what's the meaning? Baca, read, baca saja ini and color warnakan gambar mengikut saja ini. Okay, let's read together with me, okay? Okay, the first one. This red t-shirt, this blue trousers, this black shoes and this blue socks. Let's put them all in this box. Okay. Okay. Before we color the picture, I want to recap about singular and plural with all of you. Okay. Singular. What is the meaning of singular? Okay. Singular means only one. Okay. If there is only one thing, you use singular. Okay. And plural, plural means more than one thing. Okay, so in this poem, we use this if there is only one thing. Okay, and for this, if there is uh, more than one thing or things that we cannot count, okay, we use. Uh, this okay because it is under plural. Okay, for example, the first sentence This is a cap. Okay, this. This is a cap. It's only one cap. Hanya ada satu topi. Jadi, kita guna this. Okay. And for the second one, this is a skirt. Okay, there is only one skirt. Okay, so we use this. And the third sentence, this is a sweater, okay, a sweater, a sweater, hanya satu baju seduk, so we use this, okay, do you understand? Next, we go to plural, okay, plural, we use this, this if there is more than one thing, for example, the first sentence, these are caps, okay, caps. We S, it means more than one cap. Okay, so we use this. Okay, we use this because there is more than one. Okay. The second sentence, these are shoes. Okay, shoes because there is many shoes. So we use this. Okay, alright. This black shoes. Okay, because we have two shoes, right? Alright, good. And these are trousers. Okay. These blue trousers. Okay. Trousers. We cannot count trousers, right? Okay, so trousers means more than one thing. Okay. So we use this because it falls under plural. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. We move to clothes. The clothes here that we learned. Okay. T-shirt. T-shirt. This is a t-shirt. Okay. Look at my cursor. Okay. This is t-shirt. Trousers. This is trousers. Okay, this is trousers. Shoes. Shoes. Okay, shoes. So, number four, socks. Socks. Socks means stocking. Okay, stocking. Number 
number five jeans 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 mean a uh, salwa jeans okay jeans jeans pants okay sweater 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 means baju seju number seven jacket jacket number eight skirt okay skirt the one that girls usually wear okay skirt number nine shorts 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 ialah seluar pendek and the last one cap cap, cap ialah topi okay good students all right so let's color the picture okay for the first sentence this red t-shirt okay red t-shirt okay do you know what's the color of red look at this circle that i have put here okay which one is red okay good the first one red means merah okay so you must color the t-shirt okay where is the t-shirt here is the t-shirt you must color the t-shirt in red okay good the second one this blue trousers okay blue trousers which one is the trousers this one okay good all right blue which color is blue the second one okay good so you must color the trousers in blue okay the third one this black shoes okay which one is shoes which one are shoes okay this one okay this black shoes okay this is also shoes okay color all shoes in black hitam okay good and the last one and this blue socks okay which one are socks okay this one good okay you know the color blue right the blue color okay so you must color the socks in blue okay good students okay let's move to the next slide okay the second exercise write your poem and draw a picture hmm okay now you need to write your own poem and draw a picture of the things in your poem okay let's start for example uh, if i am going to write a poem i will start with this blue cap so i will draw a blue cap okay i will draw me holding a blue cap okay and the second one this yellow shoes so i will draw a uh, three pair of shoes or two pair of shoes and draw it in yellow yellow means kuning okay and the third sentence i will draw mm. what will i draw for the next one i will draw purple socks okay because i love purple so i will draw purple socks okay i will draw it here okay right here on the right side okay and the last one and these red trousers because i love trousers in red so i will draw a trousers and color it in red okay you can refer to this set of colors that i have put here and draw your own things and color it okay let's move to the next slide 
Okay. Now I want you to look at your workbook on page eighty nine and do this exercise. The instruction here: look at the pictures and read the questions. Write one word answers. Okay. Tengok pada gambar ini dan baca soalan tersebut. Okay, this is the question here. Okay, write one word answers. Here, uh, the exercise only one, one word answers. Okay, you don't need to write two or more answers. You just need one word. Okay, for example here, what's the boy doing? Apa yang budak lelaki itu buat? Okay. He is eating. One word, right? One word answers. Okay? He is eating. Dia sedang makan. We only need that one word answer. Okay? For the second one. Let's do it together. Where are the boy and the girl? Okay. They are sitting. But where? Where in your Part of house that has a lot of food. Okay, and you usually sit there to eat. Of course, in the kitchen. Okay, good students. Can you do the next question? What is the boy doing? And you must look at this boy. What is he doing? This is a computer. So, what is he doing? Okay. Hmm. I think he is playing. Okay, playing computer games. Okay, good. How about the girl? What's the girl doing? Apa yang budak perempuan ini lakukan? She is watching. What is this? What is this called? Okay, this is... A television. So, I think she is watching television. Okay, good students. You must look at this picture carefully, okay? And the last one. Can I have you to do it by yourself? Okay. Look at this picture. And this are the cat. Okay, how many cat are they? One and two. Oh, there are two cats. Okay, there are two cats. And where are the cats? Look at this uh, arrow. Okay, this arrow. What is the white thing on the cat? Okay, the one that you usually use to cover yourself. Under the blanket. Okay, good students. Okay. Okay, now let's look on page 90 of your workbook. Okay. The instruction here, write the word cotton, wool or leather. Okay, write to list perkataan cotton. Wool or leather. Okay. Before we proceed to this exercise or before you answer this, let's look on what the meaning of cotton, wool and leather. The first one, cotton. Cotton. Cotton comes from plant. Okay. Dia datang daripada tumbuh-tumbuhan. For example, we have cotton t-shirts. Okay, these shirts are made from cotton. And cotton are made from plant. Okay, cotton, cotton comes from plant. Remember that, okay? The second one, wool. Wool, wool comes from sheep. Okay, uh, wool ini datang daripada kambing biri-biri. Okay. For example, we have woolen sweaters and socks. Okay. Usually, wool is used to make ourselves feel warm. Okay. Wool. Wool. Remember that wool comes from sheep. Okay. So, let's look at the next one. Leather. Leather. 
Leather comes from cows. Okay. Cows. Leather comes from cows. For example, we have leather shoes, leather jackets, okay, and many more. Okay. Remember that leather comes from cows. Okay. So let's proceed with the exercise. The first one. Write the word cotton, wool, or leather. Okay, for the first one, this is cotton. Okay, because uh, the picture shows this is clothes. Clothes are made from cotton. Okay, kind diperbuat daripada cotton. Okay, the next one, bag. Okay, handbag. Hmm, what's the material for a handbag? If you are confused, you can try and ask your mom. Or you can try to touch your mom's handbag. Hmm, what's the handbag are made of? Okay. Okay, and the third one. Shoes. Okay, hmm, what's the material of this kind of shoes? Hmm. Discover it by yourself, okay? And the fourth one, this sweater. Okay, wow, sweater made us feel so warm. Usually, what material use if uh, we want to make ourselves feel warm? Do we use cotton, wool, or leather? Hmm. The fifth picture. What is this? This is a curtain. Okay, curtain. This is curtain. Curtain is lancy. You can try and fill the curtain at your home. Uh, awak uh, boleh cuba pergi menyentuh uh, material lancy dekat rumah awak. Okay. You can I feel it by yourself. What is the material of curtain in your home? Go and discover it by yourself. Okay. And the sixth one, the last picture. This is what we use to cover ourselves. Okay. This is selimut. Okay. And we also use, uh, we also call this as selendang. Okay. What is selendang? It's made of Hmm, okay, don't forget to find out by yourself, okay? You can touch the things in your home and discover it, whether it is cotton, wool, or leather, okay? Don't forget to write it in your workbook. And the last activity for today, read. Then write and draw. Okay. Look at this picture. It is a girl. Okay. This girl is saying this. I'm wearing a cotton t-shirt, cotton jeans, woolen socks, and leather shoes. Okay. Apa yang budak perempuan ini pakai? Dia sedang memakai satu t-shirt cotton. Satu seluar jeans cotton um, Satu stocking yang Dibuat daripada wool Okay, and leather shoes Satu pasang kasut yang diperbuat daripada kulit Okay, kulit lembu, leather Okay, woolen socks pula Diperbuat daripada uh, kulit kambing biri-biri Okay, remember that, okay? Alright, so in this section, in this exercise, I want you to draw yourself, okay, and imagine yourself whether you are wearing a leather, a leather jacket, a cotton pants. Hmm, what are you wearing? Okay, remember to include the cotton. Wool or leather in your sentence, okay? I want 
to to complete the this exercise and I will check it at school. Okay. That's all for today. Don't forget to do the exercise on page eighty eight. 89 and 90 in your workbook. Okay. Can't wait to see you soon. Happy holiday. And don't forget to do revision and complete the exercise. Bye. Have a nice holiday and please take care of yourself.